Inception! Lisa Marsh and I were invited to speak at International Creative Industries Forum and present our H&M collaboration project. That project we did last year and I have a full video of that process down below so if you're interested click the link. But we were presenting our work in a mini booth that we had for ourselves. We decorated it with our garments, our sketchbooks, portfolios and everyone could just have a look and touch everything if they were interested. And then we did a public talk where each of us explained their projects in depth but I didn't want to include it in this video because that would have been a bit too long so I'll have uh, a separate video posted in the next couple of days with English subtitles because it was in Russian of course. We had a chance to not only present our work to regular visitors but also to speak with different industry professionals which was quite beneficial. <laughs> Because our base room studio is so big and we have two separate levels, level 5 and us level 6 working in it, we wanted to give an illusion of separation and our tutor suggested that we put up a soft partition. Previously as they used to have a hard partition with whiteboards and it felt very claustrophobic and they even jokingly called it a Berlin wall. For my degree collection I definitely wanted to test out different pleating methods and before I used to do it by hand and it never turned out quite crisp enough and it was so time consuming so I was lucky enough to stumble upon a YouTube video which was about a pleating board which I obviously tried to recreate here and it worked so well I'm so happy that I finally have this done. I'll obviously be trying out different methods because this is the most basic and generic pleating board you can do but I'll try to make it irregular to kind of add some dimension to the pleats themselves. For our assessment we were supposed to present two prototypes and I was trying to develop this idea but I hate it because when I was photoshopping when I was playing around with this digitally it turned out to look like a ball gown which is exactly the opposite of what I'm going for in this collection. Since I'm looking into formalization and change of identity in different circumstances, particularly with paperwork, I was interested in making a formal element coming out of a registration blank and I was trying to emulate this idea but it did not quite turn out well and for our assessment I'm going to be working with different prototypes and I'm just going to leave this one behind for now. This is actually one of the first ideas which I started recreating in 3D from a sketch, which you've probably seen if you follow me on Instagram, which is exactly the same as my username on YouTube, so go follow if you're interested to see the behind the scenes of collection development. But I do love them. It's a bit tricky to work with them because they take up so much space, but I do believe that is resolvable and I definitely want to work with them in the future. It's quite common for us to spend from 5 to 12 hours in the studio so because we don't really see the Christmas decorations and the change of season besides the fact that it gets colder we decided to decorate the studio and have a little reminder of the fact that the holidays are coming even though it's the same reminder that the deadline is creeping on us. Our exhaustion and sleep deprivation gave birth to three different random characters. One of them is Tutor Raisa, a very typical Russian teacher. 
second one is Alyosha, the bureaucracy agent, and the last one is Gennady. There's really no explanation to this Russian word, but it's a random inside joke and just a sign of us losing our minds, so it's great that the holidays are coming. Because I hated my first two prototypes, I kind of had to make another one because we are supposed to submit two, and I started working with uh, a short and cropped jacket with pleated elements. I'm not sure about it, I'll have to rework it later, but for now this is what I have. The only element that I actually like from this prototype is that paper clip, which I bend it out of shape and that is kind of bouncy now. I definitely want to rework it and I luckily do have one more week to do that. And the donations are still coming in. Thank you Maria so much for your contribution to my degree collection and the sustainable part of it. Thank you! Subscribe for more behind the scenes of degree collection development. Perhaps you'll learn something new like a new technique or an approach. My next video is going to be a sketchbook tour from semester A. You'll see everything that supported my 3D work and sampling, so I think it's going to be pretty interesting to see how thought process goes of a degree collection and I'll be talking you through it, so subscribe to see that. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye!